What's up you guys? Chet Guthrie the Dream Poet here coming to you all with day 136. It's 135 or 136. I cannot quite remember but I am doing another 12 hour shift today so I'm not able to completely edit the video I have on hand at the moment of yesterday of Hurricane Dorian. Um, I'll say not all that much happened and for tomorrow's episode which is technically today um, everything looks okay everything's alright I wanted to touch up with everyone because quite frankly I'm not able to get this video out as quick as I want it to uh, yesterday I mean Hurricane Dorian scraped the coast which we really didn't get all that a whole whole lot I mean, we still got uh, wind. Uh, technically, the the tree that's outside of my friend's apartment, it's a little bit bent, but I think really in that entire car apartment complex, that, that's really about it. Wait, was that a bee? I think that was. Um, I will say, though, I will say, um, if you are a person of faith, uh, pray for the Bahamas. They got real hit really really bad and keep as well the Bahamas in your thoughts because for about close to 12 hours I think for, for a whole day or two I mean they were getting bombarded with a category 5 hurricane um, I'm very blessed and very thankful that we didn't get hit as bad as I thought we would but uh, for the most part everything's all right um, there's also a fellow person with a sailboat who lost his sailboat, things on the rocks, or I'm not even sure if it was a sailboat, I think it was a houseboat, but his sailboat is completely shattered, gone, sunk, and the sad part is they had everything on that boat. So, I'm very thankful, very blessed. Um, St. Augustine got a lot of flooding. Uh, I saw some pictures on uh, on the I Love St. Augustine uh, page, or group page, on Facebook. Everything is alright, well, for the most part. I mean, mostly it's all just flooding. Um, but again, we made it. Um, looks like there might be another hurricane coming soon. That is probably the only one we have to worry about, but I mean, this hurricane has given me experience. Granted, we didn't get hit by anything super major uh, thank a big thank you to the Galenis family for taking me in, me in and letting me stay like, a couple of days very very nice people very very generous people very very kind people and I'm very gracious and very thankful and I can't express enough gratitude for saying thank you for letting me stay because if it had been major and bad then I wouldn't have had a house and I, I guess really the best thing I would have had to have done is either buy another sailboat or move back to Tennessee. That, that means a lot. They, they helped me out a lot, you guys, and a big thank you to them if they are watching this. Um, in other news, um, I got notified by Nathan that some drone footage that we used, um, or we did for um, East Tennessee PBS. It will be coming up in an upcoming documentary. I will try to post the link if I can find it. I'll get a hold of William, the man who produces it. Um, but yeah, that's also some good news. I will say too that uh, after all this, Charlie, our pet alligator, or our pet alligator at the marina, he's found himself another spot that he is enjoying at the moment. Little Charlie's pretty awesome. He started hissing at me when I was on top of him, or standing like three or four feet away from him, but for the most part, he's, he's a pretty chill alligator. Pretty chill. Um, but, trying to think what else has happened. Um, for the most part, this hurricane passed us. We didn't get hit bad. Um, like I said, the actual video, which is, was supposed to be today, that will be up tomorrow along with the other er, vlog um, it's just like I wanted to touch up with you guys looks like I might not have enough time today to get it uploaded and vlogged and edited and whatever you want to call it um, oh yeah and I have to show you like 
I cannot wait to do another today's adventure with my new camera. Um, my D or my my D seven thousand, it shoots like a miracle. Thing is crystal clear as day. Beautiful, beautiful camera, and I'm glad I got it. Um, granted, there are some things that probably need to be fixed up. Um, I kind of cracked the uh, the shroud on it, but those things are not that expensive. I think what I'm going to do is order it through my mom, have it delivered to her house, and when they visit, I'm, I'm just going to pick it up then. Um, but ooh, well, I'm, I'm well. I don't know who's, but I think those are what I think those are. Uh, I'm not going to ask any questions, but maybe that's huh, maybe that's the highlight because that those are drug needles. That makes me feel a little bit comfortable about the McDonald's or not McDonald's, the Wendy's I work at. Don't know what to say there. So you guys, I want to get back to work. Remember, stay posted, stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop on daily content on my channel in my daily life here in Florida. And as well, stay posted, stay tuned, keep in touch with me at Dream Poet at Facebook, as well as my Instagram. For those who won the drawing, I will be getting with you all very, very soon. Uh, major, the one, the the channel who won the most um, is Sharp Drone Photography. By the way, man, your your drone photography is amazing, absolutely amazing. Which I that's why I want to add drone footage and actually improve my channel. But um, but yeah, I'm just gonna get some food. Gonna go back in get some food. But remember, love you all very much. Thank you all for the love and support. Love you guys. Peace.